Hey guys, good morning, afternoon. <laughs> it's almost 1 p.m. I'm so used to saying morning. I am making lunch for the girls. We've been having a very lazy, laid back day before school starts, trying to get the house a little bit more organized. Um, sorry, my chemicals falling. Uh, just like getting unpacked, getting clothes washed, picking out outfits for school tomorrow. Um, yeah, <laughs> and they're super excited. Mommy's super excited, and it's gonna be a good day. And the rest had to go back to work today, unfortunately. Uh, today is Labor Day. We had zero plans for Labor Day. In fact, we were going to do Autumn's little birthday party today, but it just didn't work out that way. So, nope, no cake. Uh, we have a little bit of cake left over from yesterday, like Autumn's smash cake, and Maddie's trying to get into it. Uh, we are back on a healthier diet today and every day. I got questions on my vlog from that I uploaded last night, like if I was gonna be back on Weight Watchers. I am going to try and go back on Weight Watchers now. <laughs> um, I really feel not motivated. I actually did not gain that much weight uh, when we were on the cruise, surprisingly, because we did nothing but eat. I mean, if you watch the cruise vlogs or as you start watching them, we literally did nothing but eat. But I really didn't, I only gained four pounds, which for two weeks, like exactly two weeks vacation of doing nothing but eating out, I made best attempts to cook and stuff while we were in Galveston, but that was very short-lived. We did eat out several times, but I think the walking on the cruise and stuff was good. Um, and I only gained four pounds, and I think a lot of it was like, Mother Nature was very good to me because I was supposed to start my period over the cruise, like in the middle of the cruise, I think the second or third day of it. <laughs> and we ended up staying there an extra week. <coughs> and mother nature was good to me until we got home. So I think a lot of it's bloating and stuff too. So I was really happy for two weeks, four pounds is not bad. So we are back on the eating healthy. Did not take the decorations down. Still have the Minnie Mouse decorations. The, <laughs> the girls really like going through them. So yeah, I'm just gonna hook them up with some cucumbers, watermelon, some vegetables, and a little bit of Boca Burger for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone's fast and hair, everything's all dead and ready to go. Um, Emmy's clean up her room. What outfit did you pick for tomorrow, baby? I picked these, are these sunflowers? Mm -hmm. um, or daisies, I think they're daisies. Maybe both. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe there's daisies, daisies. Yeah, they're daisies. So I got these these um white daisies with a with a black um a black behind like a background background there you yes. go <laughs> and and they're from Old Navy and I'm gonna wear them with this white kind of um shirt mommy shirt that it actually is more on her of um like a tunic style. So that's why I told her to put the capris on with it. 
And it's also from Old Make, Navy. Maddie, you're making you need jammies. And it's, all, and it's also from Old Go Navy, too. Yeah, those are both from Old Navy. Go in your room, baby. Both from Pick Old jammies. Navy. And then we got to get her school supplies and stuff all together. Because tomorrow's the first day of school. Ooh. A second grade. <laughs> a second grade. So sad. Mommy, I want to go to second grade, Mommy. Well, you will, Maddie, in a few years. I'm going to bust out this from last year. Maddie, you're Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nikki. Oh my god. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Go, Maddie. Go get jammies. Lord, this child. So we'll have to update this quite a bit. <laughs> but oh, I'm so excited for her. As you can see, for me, I've done absolutely nothing with myself all day. All day. I mean, this morning I brushed my teeth and washed my face. Lucky I did that. <laughs> uh, my hair's not, it's just second day curly hair, but I've been in my pajamas all day. What are you going to do? I did get up a vacation vlog, the first two days of our vacation. There's 12 more to go. <laughs> I think at some point, though, there's a lot of footage, footage from day two and three. So I'm thinking, or hoping, at least like on the cruise, because eventually like we were doing the exact same things every day. I wasn't recording that much. So I'm kind of hoping that that's the case and I can get up another one. So I'm hoping this week there'll be two videos every single day. The daily vlog plus some sort of extra vlog. Are you still Nike? Ah! So what just happened is that Autumn, mommy was holding her, standing, Mo mommy let go. Autumn went straight to Maddie. And, 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 and she walked to, 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 um, yes. Okay. So, guys, so Autumn just called back. Autumn took a step to And then, Autumn took a step. Don't do that to her. Anymore. That's because, and Daddy. <laughs> whoa, 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 what you say, Daddy? Whoa, 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 what would you say, Daddy? Why would I say? Yeah. But I don't want well, Mommy. I was, I was just holding on to the, the pen. And it's also one of the broken there to the... And Adam, what did you do, Adam? What did he do? What did he do? She, she, like, threw herself at Maddie, but she inadvertently took, like, two steps in the meantime. Mommy, can I feed Adam? Mm -hmm. Here. Okay. So, <laughs> sissy. Well, what are you gonna do, sissy? I'm gonna sissy, how's your bottle? You gonna feed Adam? Oh, yeah. That's cool. The diaper first, or? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got Let me get a closer bottle. look. Say cheese, sissy. Cheese. I got you. You don't even know how to take a picture. Okay. You try it. Okay, say so one, two, three. I'm gonna say one, two, three. He said cheese. Say cheese, one, two, three. <laughs> you did not take it. <laughs> Maddie, don't press any buttons. To take a picture? Press, press that mill. Yeah, that one. To turn off? See? Okay, everyone is in bed and I actually realized when Maddie woke up or she came out of the room right after we put her to bed and she was like, we forgot to say goodnight, see you tomorrow. I was already downstairs. I don't know if I'm the dress actually let her say it or not. Sometimes we pretend because she's so, she's the type of child that she's always been like that where she's so used to routine. Anytime you break her from it, it upsets her equilibrium. And she's so used to saying goodnight to you tomorrow, it's kind of like, if I forget, she will be the one to remind me that we forgot. And so I was downstairs, I didn't even bother coming upstairs to have her say goodnight, and I don't know if he actually turned on the camera, um, which, since I forgot to have her say it, I forgot to have Emmy and Autumn, well, you know us say it for Autumn, <laughs> and they all went to bed. Tomorrow is the first day of school for Emmy. She's so excited. We got to pick her outfit and everything, and I have my alarm set so we can all get up early and go meet her teacher, and actually, I'll probably, 
I'll probably go meet her teacher by myself so that Andres, so we don't have to wake up the little girls because Maddie will probably be awake, but Autumn's been sleeping pretty late the last few days and she has her one year appointment tomorrow and she's gonna get shots and so that kind of stinks. Um, hoping she doesn't have a bad day because of that, but I do want her to get as much sleep as she can. So that's the plan tomorrow morning because it's an early morning. I'm calling it an earlier night. It's 1145. Since we've been back from the cruise, I've been going to bed at like 1, 1 1.30 every single night because I've been trying to watch Sons of Anarchy, which is a really good show, but I don't feel like I can binge watch it like I was binge watching. Oh my God, did I? Shameless. <laughs> I was like, I really just blanked out on that name. I binge watch Shame Shameless like all day every day I watched it until I got caught up and now I cannot wait I actually started watching it again uh, right before we left for the cruise and I'm already halfway through season one I've been watching Sons of Anarchy since before we left on the cruise and I am halfway through the second season it's a good show I really like it I think I'm mostly like looking at Jax I think that's why I think that's why I just keep looking at him thinking oh my gosh you could have been Christian Grey I don't know because <laughs> that he was supposed to be Christian Grey on um, 50 Shades of Grey but he wasn't because of Sins of Anarchy so I do really like the show I just get kind of confused with all the different names of everybody it's taking me a really long time to get to know who's who I've even had to look up a lot of things like they kept referring to Sam Crow I had no idea what that was I had to google it and then now of course I know it's San Sons of Anarchy original Redwood or whatever Redwood original something like that so now I I know that but I they don't tell you you know it's like I feel like if they're gonna use an acronym like that they should tell you what it is one time and then continue to go and they didn't so I'm just a little confused on some of the things like that in the show so I really have to pay attention and typically I watch Netflix at night when I'm tired and I never really had to pay attention to Shameless it was a goofy inappropriate show that you didn't really it, it didn't have like a whole lot of plot twists and stuff to it you know I, I don't know so it was so easy for me to watch late at night this is a lot harder where was I even going with that I don't remember oh I think oh yeah I've been staying up pretty late so I've been sleeping in a little bit in the morning and the girls have been sleeping in a little bit more as well so it's been kind of hard for us to kind of get on a sleep schedule like Emmy and Maddie didn't go to bed till 8 45 so I think Emmy when she starts school especially they've they're already past the first week usually the first week is like catch up see where everyone's at get to know everybody in the class and now we're in the second week so I'm sure she's gonna start having homework right away and things are just gonna be different she's in second grade now you know and so the school year has begun which is insane like as happy as and ready as I was for school to start I'm really gonna miss her a lot I mean I'll still get a couple days a week with Maddie because she's still gonna stay part-time in school but I'm really gonna miss having Emmy even though they drive me nuts when they're together <laughs> nuts they fight constantly um, I'm really gonna miss them so yeah it's like that mom guilt you know I can't wait for school to start back but once it's here you're like oh what am I supposed to do with my life <laughs> luckily Autumn's still home with me and um, speaking of Autumn like I said she has her one year checkup tomorrow so we're gonna do that and then I was actually looking into I don't know why on Facebook there's like always controversy about something and I had been I talked to you guys on the live stream about my batteries about today so let me go get another one while I'm talking. I actually lost a battery. I had three and I had them. I'm wondering if one's in the car. I had all three of them with me on the cruise. And when I got home, I was checking the other day. I only have two, which stinks because I go through batteries like crazy. Hold please. This one's dead too. So I'm just going to have to use this one until the other one charges a little bit. I have like no earthly idea where my other like for this one to be I don't know how long this battery is gonna last because I put in my other battery and it was dead um, so I'm not sure what exactly happened but while I was waiting for this one to charge for like a minute I cut my nails can you guys believe first off 
Let's talk about the shellac. <laughs> it lasted a long time and my toes still look beautiful, but look at how much growth I have. You can see my cuticle beds. I mean, that's just insane considering I did them almost three weeks ago, a little less than three weeks. So yeah, I needed to cut them. They were so long and actually the shellac is gonna need to come off. I work on Friday. So, and besides the fact that it looks awful, I'm gonna need to peel this baby off. Luckily my toes still look good. So anyway, what I was saying before my battery cut out, on Facebook I saw, so I told you guys I was considering uh, doing my Etsy, which I still wanna do. In fact, if I'm doing it, I will, I feel like I put on too much, you ever had that? Or you feel like you put on too much lip balm and it's like sticking together? But if I've already posted the coupon code, I will list it here and link it down below to my Etsy shop of opening it up with a coupon code and donating 100% of my proceeds to uh, the Houston Relief, you know, for everyone. And not even just Houston, all the way down to Rockport, Corpus, Port, Port Aransas, like that whole area got completely wiped as well. So I just was in general going to donate to that money wise um but uh, it's funny how it's not funny i was looking on facebook and a lot of people were saying that they were really hesitant to donate money because it goes straight to ceo's salaries and blah 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 before it actually helps anybody um i don't really know how i feel about that one way or the other i feel like anybody who's helping deserves to get paid if that's their job if you're volunteering you don't deserve to get paid because you're volunteering so I don't know I'm just kind of like oh a lot of people were starting controversy about that in general like you know but then I also read an article where somebody who had been through like Hurricane Katrina and things like that they said donating stuff is not really a good thing either unless it's going to be specific items for like babies for instance formulas diapers wipes things like that like I was considering donating clothes and they made a good point why donate used articles of clothing when more than likely they're going to end up wet or damaged or in a warehouse full of items that got damaged in the flood I don't know I'm just like so tossed up now I feel like no matter what you do there's someone out there that has something to say against it so I'm so on the fence I was telling Andres yesterday like I wanted to get the list from Emmy school to see exactly what they need and go out tomorrow my mom doesn't have a car so she was like oh you can come pick up my card and go buy stuff for me <laughs> so I was thinking about doing that tomorrow since I'm not gonna have either one of the big girls and by the time I'm done with Autumn's appointment I can go like to Costco Walmart wherever and buy what I need probably Costco would be really good to even buy like socks do they sell underwear there hmm I have to look into that but just like things that I would need to donate to the school so that I can just get it done because I don't know when they're the drive is actually until next week but I don't know when they're starting to take stuff so yeah I'm just kind of tossed up about that whole thing I really wish I hadn't donated all my shampoos and conditioners because that was something that they could have used and I took them all down to Haven for Hope. Not that Haven for Hope people can't use them, it's just the people that are being affected by this uh, hurricane, Hurricane Harvey, need them more at this point in time. So I'm just kind of like, mm, I don't know. What did you guys do? Did you donate money? Did you not donate at all? Maybe you don't believe in that. Um, did you donate to like a local church? Or school that's donating or your food bank did you send non perishables did you send baby items I'm like so weird about these things I want to send exactly what they need because I don't want to send something that's going to go to waste or get dumped like after I watched that read that article I was like oh, that makes sense like if I send a whole bunch of baby clothes what if they end up flooded too or in the water or in some warehouse that they don't even get used like that'll upset me so not that I'll know so I don't know <laughs> help me help I was also thinking about taking PayPal donations 
uh, and just maybe sending like a bulk lump sum of money somewhere but I don't even know where would be the best place to send it since again people were talking about like salaries getting paid um, of like the higher up people that run these corporations and stuff even I, I just can't even believe even nonprofits do things like that I don't know I guess it's all kind of greedy so let me know give me some guidance down below I feel like those of you out there that have been there, through this before or whatever would maybe have some tips or advice I'd really appreciate it so I am going to go to bed before this camera battery dies again I hope you guys enjoyed today and we'll see you tomorrow Bye.